tennis has officially turned on its head. Here's a look at the notable results from the weekend in the Premier League. Newcastle United thump Tottenham 4-0. Manchester City take care of business against Luton. Forest and Wolves end in a 2-2 draw. Manchester United only managed a 2-2 draw against Bournemouth, but uh, these next two results, big, big time repercussions here. Uh, Crystal Palace beat Liverpool 1-0 at Anfield and Arsenal lose 2-0 to Villa at home. Yikes! Yikes, kids. Yikes. What's going on? City back on top. Let's break down um, that Burnley Brighton. Game. Yeah, I know. Maybe we should talk about Bournemouth <laughs> today. I don't know. Let's let's check in with Jeff Shreves and, and see what he has to say about this weekend of, of Premier League action. Good morning, Jeff. Okay. <laughs> uh, we, so I said I said Alexis and I both contested. We said there are there are a few things that are certain in life. Death taxes and Manchester City being on top of the table <laughs> in April. And that is exactly what has happened after this this weekend. Um, I it's it was painful to watch as a Liverpool fan. I'm sure it was painful to watch as an Arsenal fan. But for you, Jeff, um, which result was was more surprising? Good question. Um, I think when you look, you look at the weekend, though, as a whole, it's not just those two results that were poor, obviously. Tottenham took a right hammering as well, didn't they? So I think we are in the part of the season where the results, if you like, they they amplify louder because of the connotations for the teams as well. I mean, I don't think Luton expected anything at Manchester City and they're so short of numbers right now. You can kind of say that was a, a free hit, if you like. But to your point, let's focus on the two games. Liverpool, it's not just yesterday, what a bad week they've had. Dropping points at Manchester United, then that Atalanta thumping at home. And Crystal Palace, certainly in the first half, they were full value for their win at Anfield. This was no fluke. They played really, really well. They also defended really well, which is a part of the game. And once again, we're seeing Liverpool not taking their chances. They are misfiring at the moment. Just one of those days, it wasn't happening for them. How much damage has been done? To be honest with you, it's not just the points and the switch around in the table. It's the psychological damage. As I say, it was a bad seven days for them. So a week that Jurgen Klopp will want to forget, but he can't because they've got to keep going now. And they've now got these four away games, haven't they? So they've got to be on their metal. Jeff, that's exactly what I was going to ask you. I was going to stay away from the typical... Are they feeling the pressure? Because of course they're feeling the pressure. All three teams are feeling the pressure. It's how you handle it, rather that it, it, you know pressure makes diamonds, and 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 so far City's on on a clear path to making that diamond. But mentally, I I, I haven't seen Liverpool, maybe Arsenal, at, at 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 such a low point compared to the rest of the season. Mentally, do you feel like? they might be cracking mentally? It's a, it's a hard thing to assess, Nico, isn't it? I mean, I don't know if you saw the close-up of Jurgen Klopp when the goal went in. He just said, wow. Now, I'm not sure if he was talking about the quality of Crystal Palace's goal or the apparent ease at which they passed the ball around his players. Maybe he wasn't happy with the pressing or with the closing. I'm not quite sure. But you, you get a kind of a mental fatigue here as well because of the amount of games, because the games come thick and fast because of Europe. So it's it's not just, I think, about the pressure that Manchester City are putting on these two teams as well. It's the games. They've got to pick themselves up and go again and go again. And that's why we always say it's the biggest squad. And do you know what as well, Nico? I think Manchester City winning on Saturday put huge pressure on the other two and you can even break that down further because okay Liverpool no most people expected Manchester City to win but when Liverpool lost as well that should have fired Arsenal up that should have given them just that little bit of extra lift you know going into this game right we've got an opportunity here to put some distance between ourselves and one of the other of this very very tight group but again if you analyze the Arsenal against Aston Villa game Arsenal played exceptionally well in the first half. They played some really, really good football, but they just didn't take their chances. And if you then break that down, it was a curious tactical decision from Mikel Arteta at the weekend, because he chose to restore Gabriel Jesus as the striker 
and to withdraw Kai Havertz from where he's been so successful in the last half dozen games. He also went with Trossard and he must have been saving Martinelli for Munich in midweek. And for whatever reason, I'm kind of arguing against myself here because they should have scored in the first half and it should have happened for them. But I have to give credit to Aston Villa. Terrific performance them. A great result as well. And they took advantage of Tottenham getting a hammering the day before. Uh, Jeff, both managers, Mikel Arteta and uh, Jurgen Klopp, both intimated that if they continue to play, Jurgen Klopp was talking about the first half, uh, Mikel Arteta was talking about the second half, that they didn't play good enough to win the title or to still be in the title race. But it's all about what happens next. Which of these two teams do you think has the mentality to make the changes necessary to maintain pressure on Manchester City and still be in the, in the title race? Yeah, I, I, I make them about even. Uh, you and Sue are making the same face. You both like, yeah. tried the grapefruit for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> right, right now, you couldn't sit here with a huge amount of confidence, could you? Because, you know, it, it's just the same old thing. It, it's so predictable in terms of this is what Manchester City do. This is why they are great champions. This is why they are the treble winners. This is why they come good at this time of year every single season. Now, up until this point, we say, oh, Manchester City, a little bit vulnerable, more goals, gone behind in more games, etc. Yeah, but, but look at where they are. To me, at the weekend, I think maybe for Liverpool, the amount of changes they've had to make, players coming in, coming out, for whatever reason, it didn't quite happen for them. Arsenal was worrying, though. If I, if I was rooting for the Gunners, I'd be concerned, Alexis, if I was you, because it just didn't look like... They didn't look convinced themselves, particularly in that second half. They looked nervous. Maybe there was a nervousness around the crowd as well, but they just didn't look convinced in their own ability to win this game when they know they absolutely have to nail three points to the board every single time with the form that Manchester City are in right now. So look, you, you can't underestimate. I don't think it's, a, it's, a, it's obviously not a massive swing in points, but mentally... I think this was a huge mm. weekend for Manchester City. Mm -hmm. So you imagine what happens later this week. If Liverpool go out, they've got it all to do. Arsenal, it's not impossible for Arsenal. It's not impossible for Liverpool either, but it's obviously tougher for them. Arsenal have got a tough task going to the Alliance. That is really, really difficult. If Manchester City go through in midweek, what sort of lift does that give them? And what sort of downer is it for the other two? That's been really difficult to overcome. But... Both of them could turn it around and we may see the opposite because, you know, Real Madrid have got a big say in this tie still as well. So it's all about mentality and momentum at this stage of the season. And right now, Manchester City are ticking far more boxes than the others. For you two, I would just start getting used to the... Could you could you sing that and give us a clue, Nico? What was that? It's a niche Bundesliga. It's a song they play at the Allianz every time Bayern scores. Oh, boy. The problem is Arsenal is like, why would Arteta make so many damn changes? Remember when I told you? Oh, I thought you were making Cornito. I was trying to do Cornito, but I told you guys we needed to do this towards City. And you all were like, no, you're yeah. at top of the table. And it's your fault. <laughs> I blame you. Zeus, you're still right. coming at City, too. What? See, no, Zeus, you're right. I An enemy of, our, of my enemy <laughs> is my enemy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think that's the famous. Very glad that I read that in that Art of up. War. Uh, Yikes. It's hard. Uh, Susanna, that, I, think, I think it's hard right now for Liverpool and Arsenal fans not to feel, of course it hasn't gone, but it's just got a lot, a lot away, more it? difficult. Yeah, we did not yeah. make life easy on ourselves, no. did we? Not at all. And Liverpool no. just, you know, forgot how to score goals. And how to so defend. that's a problem. Yeah, it's, it's but not I, great. I, think it's, I do think it's important, though, we must give credit to the other teams. You've yeah. got to look at, you know, what Villa did. They did a terrific job. It's a really, really good performance. Crystal Palace, that's fabulous from them, both going forwards and at the back as well. So, you know, you have to tip your hat to these sides. Because it's not—it's just not easy. The Premier League—it's a tough, tough league to try and win. That's why nobody's ever done it. Four on the trots. If they do do it, it's an unbelievable achievement. And right now, they look like they're just slipping into their stride nicely. Mm. At the weekend, it's, it's a hurdle race. It's an obstacle race. The Premier League. Oof. No question. At the weekend, Liverpool and Arsenal had bad stumbles, but were they falls? 
we'll find out. We will find out. Jeff Shreves, thank you so much for taking the time. Always a pleasure, sir. Uh, we'll catch up with you later in the week, okay?